Mmm, Brunello de Montalcino. If you haven't heard about this Tuscan red wine, you're in for a treat. It is among the most revered, the most sought after wines in Italy. Over the next five minutes, we are going to learn all about the region of Montalcino, how the famous Brunello de Montalcino wines are made, and what they taste like. Montalcino is a commune or municipality in southern Tuscany, about 40 kilometers south of Siena and 50 kilometers inland from the Tyrrhenian Sea. The vineyards are planted on a hillside in its surrounding areas. Perched on the top of this hill is the medieval fortified city of Montalcino. The grape planted here is Sangiovese, which is referred to locally as Brunello. Sangiovese is the most widely planted red grape in Italy and especially thrives in the Tuscan sunshine. It's a grape variety with a lot of genetic mutations, otherwise known as clones. The clone or family of clones that is the most planted in the Brunello region is called Sangiovese Grosso. The climate in Montalcino is Mediterranean, which means that it's hot and dry during the growing season with mild winters. Vineyards planted mid-slope to the top of the hill are slightly cooler due to their higher altitude. They also have regular breezes flowing through them, and there is a significant difference in temperature from daytime to nighttime. This allows the grapes to ripen slowly and evenly while maintaining really bright, tangy acidity. The vineyard soils are incredibly diverse here. Many millions of years ago, most of Italy was underwater and Tuscany was essentially a shallow sea. Over the course of multiple geological eras, the waters receded and returned several times. This left massive marine deposits and caused huge landslides, causing the soils to be redistributed all around the hill. This, plus volcanic activity from the now extinct Mount Amiata to the south, equates to a huge range of soils. In fact, one producer said that they found 29 different soil types in one of their vineyards. All this to say that Montalcino is a unique and highly prized terroir. The Brunello de Montalcino wines are classified DOCG, which is the highest tier classification in Italian wine. It means that the origin is controlled and guaranteed. Brunello de Montalcino wines are made from 100% Sangiovese. No other grapes are permitted. They have aromas and flavors of fresh red and dark fruit, dried herbs, balsamic notes, and sometimes licorice or spice as well. On the palate, they are quite full-bodied with really vibrant acidity and firm tannins. For this reason, the wines are aged for long periods of time in oak casks and in bottles before release. This process softens the tannins, tempers the acidity, and makes the wines far more harmonious. Brunello de Montalcino wines are released five years after the harvest, and the even more premium tier Reserva is released six years after harvest. They have excellent aging potential. Even after they're released, they are well worth cellaring for 10 years or more, depending on the vintage. Due to their bold structure, they pair best with hearty, savory dishes. The very best vintages in the last 25 years or so are the 1997, the 99, the 2001, 2004, 2010, 2012, 2015, and the 2016 is highly anticipated. For those that like an earlier drinking wine style, Montalcino's answer is Rosso de Montalcino. These wines are aged for just one year before release. These baby Brunellos have similar, though less complex flavors. They're lighter in body and have softer tannins. They make a great everyday alternative to the more premium Brunello wines. So there you have it, the quick sip on Brunello de Montalcino wines. I could go on and on, but why don't you discover them yourself by sampling a few? This is a pretty stellar lineup to get you started. I will list all of the winery names down in the description so that you can give them a try. I'd love to hear what wine you chose, so feel free to send me a comment. If you like this video, share widely, and why not subscribe so you never miss an episode. And until next time, salute!